get, getting into game one number uh, starting now. We have the Robin and the Greninja like we talked about before, and not to mention the character from before on Don. We have Mario and Lights Fox. Yeah, this is the, the comp that they've been running with for years all throughout Smash 4. A lot of high damage output from these guys. You're going to see the up air juggles like crazy. Uh, Don already just trying to spike these guys off the right side of the stage. One of the things, you, big things you'll notice out of Don and Light as well is that they're constantly playing just far enough out of each other's range, like maybe a character length or two, to be able to go in with a simple short hitbox to break up a combo, like a Nair from a Fox or a quick Nair from a Mario, just to stop what MGW and Drew are going to want to do. Yeah, these guys super quick characters, super quick players as well. And we've got Battle for Stage Control. Oh, quick sandwich, but nothing too dramatic coming out of it. And yeah, Light and Dawn, once they get their hands on you together, it's all over. I like what happened there too, where you saw Fox uh, pushing Jewel off stage, and then Light immediately turned around and went try to go for the 2v1 with Dawn. Uh, right now, Light just trying to make his way back. But you saw Dawn took all of his focus off of who was in front of him, just to put a hitbox out and stop. Doesn't matter, the Light's gonna go down. Yeah, MGW and Dawn, by the way, two players that excel in the doubles format, right? You might not see them winning tournaments in singles, but their brains are just wired a little bit differently, and they can beat anybody in this format, man. I can still remember all these upsets that Light and Dawn caused in Smash 4. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, like, back at Shine, uh, getting Ws over like Captain Zack and uh, Pink Fresh and such. That was one of the real first big merit wins that they got. But, Ooh. <laughs> Ooh, Ooh. you're going to get two-piece win right there. We got one and two on both of those stocks coming in from Light right there. More bears than the Bronx Zoo right now. All right, Dawn and Light pulling ahead just a little bit, but of course Dawn bleeding out pretty heavily, and if they take his stock, things are gonna be looking a lot better for Team New York. That was a good option that Light decided to go for there, going for the full hop dare to break up that grab. I don't think Jewel is actually expecting that, and MGW doing a good job of kind of pressuring Don into the corner, because it looks like their focus is primarily to go after Light, especially it seems that Don is the one who's kind of stock tanking right now. Like, okay, we're willing to take that if we can just keep Light from being able to get things started. Exactly. Just ignore the partner with a ton of damage on them, because you know they're trying to run away. They're not going to be causing all that much action. Oh, and the balloon knockback a bit too fast mm -hmm. for Light to get that follow-up, even though you got all that time to react to Mario's back throw. I, see both. I like the fact they both reset to neutral at the same time to try and see who would react first and then go try and double team that character instead. But nobody ended up pulling the trigger. I love the item play out of Jewel too. You always have to be aware. And that gentleman jab as well has so much knockback. Finally getting rid of Don's first stock. And one of the interesting things about teams is when you have stage control, it also means that you're prone to getting sandwiched, right? Mm -hmm. if you've got the opponents on two opposite ledges then they could just come back and cause some huge team combos. Wow, all right, the extra hit lag from that up smash connecting <laughs> gonna collide with Light and take him out. Yeah, Light kind of like tilts his head to the side a little bit. They're like, oh, okay. And uh, you, you gotta hold that one, but it is a dead even game right now. You know, you got Jewel, a little bit higher in kill percent, but both of those characters between Robin and Greninja have plenty of kill potential, especially if you get caught at the ledge. Uh, so they have to be very careful on the fact that Don is holding his stocks. Another back air right there, gonna take Jewel to his last stock. Don, looking like the MVP right now, not that he's necessarily initiating too much, mm -hmm. but because he's staying out of all these interactions, he's gonna stay healthy. Oh, never mind. I was gonna say maybe hold on to an extra stock for Light to peel back, but no. That's gonna be the end of MGW. Now it's a 2v1 with a very slow projectile-based character. Mm -hmm. Not sure how much I like Jules' odds in this situation. Yeah, not being able to really have a lot of good out of shield options too. You have mm -hmm. short hop and air, but that lasts quite a bit. And these aerials too, they may be very strong, but the time frame it takes for somebody to get in between these two, so fast. Yo, the sh movement though from Jewel using those B reverse L thunders, or thunders rather, just getting off the ledge and being extremely ambiguous with where he's going. Yeah, when you want to know that Jewel's really feeling himself, start paying attention to all of his cancels. It should be a decent punish. Oh, he's actually be able to get by. I like that throwing the Nosferatu book up just to protect himself, but not going to pan out for him, man. This is just a really difficult situation. Two extremely practiced static teammates. Oh, wow. getting the back hit of the up smash that could have closed it out, but it's not going to. Good option coverage there, both of them covering roll, neutral getup, just kind of staying in the way. Right. Got a decent job on defense here though, even being behind. He's taking this right back to almost even. Yeah, and Light just a mere breath away from that Levin Sword. Oh, wow, you cannot hit my boy and get away with it, is what Light said right there. And that was so needed because Don was about to die. And after that, Light, if he missed that, it would have been a 1v1 with both of them at kill percent. But instead, Light recognizing immediately, like, you know what, this is all worth trade. I'm going to kill you. I don't care if I hit Don at the same time. We win the round. Yeah, that was extremely clutch.
by Light there. I mean, they had a huge lead. They had the 2v1 and everything, right? But he just played his position perfectly. You can't let your opponent get away with hitting your teammate in a 2v1. That's just simply how it goes. Yeah, it's a testament to how good uh, Jewel is well. Like, J Jewel is, without a doubt, the best Robin currently in the game in terms of results-wise. Oh, yeah, no and question, the way yeah. that he just breaks down this character. Like, you don't see a lot of people developing the meta the way that he does with how he's constantly be reversing, how he's constantly keeping you on your toes, and utilizing the tools that a lot of people would think are just simple. Like, okay, I'll just throw arc fire, so I'll just charge thunders. Instead, he's using it as ways to bait you and then go for his aerial smash attacks with how strong those level 11 swords are. It's really impressive to watch. Yeah, this guy is an innovator for sure. Really love watching him play, man, and I would love to see him travel a lot more too. Likewise. Bring that character a couple spots up on everybody's tier list for sure. Yeah, thankfully we finally got to get everybody to come out to NYC. It's been a little while since we've had a major this size. Yeah, for sure, man. Uh, trying to get one in the works for you guys, if you know what I'm saying. But it's well, uh, not the easiest process, so. Well, you definitely had, you know, you had, uh, what was that, uh, NYXL. Then you yep. also had Let's Make Moves. It's the fact that, you know, before in Smash 4, you pretty much needed to have Freak of Flyer Miles just to be able to get yourself on PGR. And now that the fact that there's a lot more events happening up here in the Northeast along with the West Coast, it feels more even and it feels like people have more shots that actually make it to the top. Kind of like Light with this potential chance, well not potential, he's definitely top 10 of this upcoming PGR for sure. Well, we'll see how much further he goes. Meanwhile, we're on game number two here. All right, ooh, Don's shield resting in peace, looking like a green Skittle right there one of the best flavors on the low. Mm -hmm. It's also one of the best stages aesthetically wise, by the way. I love the way the stage looks. And uh, you know, you actually got a pretty interesting team comp from the blue team here too, in terms of ledge trapping capabilities. You got Greninja who can throw shurikens on that platform while you got arc fires covering the bottom. It's gonna be very difficult for the two linear recoveries on green team to make it back. All right, we've got that up smash, Dawn holding the ledge down, but the Good old combo from Greninja. Down tilt, up smash, so reliable. That's the second time Light got caught by that too. So I think we're gonna be seeing Light trying to bait that a little bit more as the time comes. But maybe we'll see MGW realize he's trying to react to that and hit him with something like an F smash instead. Yeah, Light, one of the parry gods of this game. So if he just has the sense that you're gonna throw a quick button out, he could just flash his shield and then get a much more sizable punish, especially with Fox who has you know, a frame two jab, frame three up till guaranteed parry punishes. Yeah, you can't buy it. It doesn't matter if you can't get in. You got two projectile kills coming in from both the water shuriken and the Thoron. Like, that was really good for the red team to be able to seal it. Love that edge trap there from Jewel, by the way. He read the neutral getup, so he jumped over mm -hmm. and did it from behind. So clean. A lot of people do favor that neutral getup into the shield. Yeah, you also don't expect a command grab. It's like, okay, I, I'm, I'm fine. I'm holding shield. If he can't hit me with an aerial, he'll be exactly. a disadvantage off stage. Oh, wait, I'm losing this whole interaction right now. Oh, that was so meaty for no reason. That, beefy, more accurately. It wasn't an actual I, meaty I know, in, in fighting game terms. Somebody's yeah. gonna hear you right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Trust me, I, I know what's up with that, but man, the jab and top smash from Lightning Dawn, just showing you guys that even on the fly, these guys can turn any stray hit into a pretty sizable combo. A lot of oh! oh! Wall jump, and he's and, good. And that's another great thing about uh, this stage for the green team. Both of them love this stage. Light loves coming here, they'll get extended Lives off of that and closing out the stock on Jewel there. All right, three to four for the stocks, but percents not looking great for the green team right now. Light trying to change that up. Unfortunately, hits Dawn as well in the process. Gives MGW a chance to pick it up. And now Light and Jewel just duking it out on the left side here. Yeah, good patience from Dawn not to get caught by the F smash. Meanwhile, Light trying to bury himself out of the corner there. Ooh. Dude, oh, that was so sick. Dropped through the platform to pressure him from the other side. Jewel had no idea that was coming. Mm -hmm. Very similar to what we saw from him going for that command grab earlier. Like, you kind of get a little bit crossed up because you don't expect them to do that out of what would put them at disadvantage. But that's what makes top players so good. They do very unorthodox options that catch you off guard. I was a cross down, bro. He went from underneath. All right, Don trying to contend with Jewel here. Meanwhile, MGW and Light, fast boys mm -hmm. on the other side. Wow, oh, Light landing right into the rapid jab. Should it be a conversion? Oh, just barely misses on the back throw. Yeah, it's so tough, but wow, okay. Robin actually just gonna go down. Was that? The, she didn't the, run out of tomes, the right? Ran out, oh, it did. Yeah. Oh, she only got yeah. one jump. Yeah, sadly, yeah. that is one of the, the the design weaknesses of the character. You know, you may have extremely strong hitboxes, but got to deal with that recovery. Meanwhile, we have a repeat of before with a few more stocks this time. Yeah, we got the classic two v one. It looks like Light's gonna take the front, even though he's so close to losing the stock. Mm -hmm. Probably just wants to protect Dawn because if he had a share stock, then it would be dangerously close to 1v1 territory. Wow, Jewel just gonna fall off and fall into the loser's bracket. 
Kind of a tragic end there. These guys were cooking for the vast majority of that game. They were holding the lead. Then tide started to shift somewhere toward the midpoint of the game. Yeah. And Light and Dawn just did what they do best, man. And they clutched it out. I don't even want to say they clutched it out necessarily because it wasn't like I think part of Jules' intention pivot. there might have been anticipating Light to maybe go off stage, go for a nair. Because it's all beneficial trades for a nair. He's a stock up. Right. Try to catch him off guard, get a spike. Fast felt instead. So.